Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's Occasional Series of YouTube Tutorials. This is my 300 uh, tutorial, uh, mainly featuring MATLAB. About 260 are MATLAB tutorials and the other 40 are Excel and Visual Basic. Before we do anything else, just to say, I have to give the IP credit here. It's from Stack Overflow. And if we just look at my browser here, there it is in the browser. So I took his code, I added a good few comments and be able to add an explanation as to what's going on. And also the published file will be available in the description. It will be in a Word format. OK, so, so it's there and then I published it. In Word, so we're rotating an image and just say the ideal way is to do homogeneous equations, but we're not doing a homogeneous equation today. Going to use conventional methods for one better for. So I've given the IP credit. If I just do a visualization of what we're trying to do, there's the original image uh, in color. That's to you, Dublin Bolton Street. Convert it into grayscale. Now you can do it in color, but just to make life a little easier, do it in grayscale. Plot it like so in the Z plane. Rotate it about the X axis, 60 degrees. Rotate it about the Y axis, 60 degrees. And rotate it in the Z plane, 60 degrees. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do. So just where we are there, we tidy up. We start the program. We display the image. It's there. Uh, we take the image, we convert it to grayscale using the RGB to gray function. Uh, we're going to use mesh grid later on, and I did a YouTube tutorial on that. And there's the link, and also that's what you should be seeing there. So you may need a little bit of understanding what the mesh grid does. I did it there. Okay. So done that. So I am one gray is the grayscale image. Uh, we get the number of rows and the number of columns using the size function. And we also get the total number of pixels. So number of rows is 183. Number of columns is 275. And the total number of pixels is 183 by 275. And that's 50325. So what we have to do then is use the mesh grid function, which works out all the possible combinations. That's there. And then the X coordinates would be a column vector. And the Y coordinates would also be a column vector. OK. And I've commented there on the size. There are the number of elements in the X coordinate and the number of elements in the Y coordinate. Okay. We're going to do a scatter plot. And that's the line there. And that might cause a little bit of confusion. So remember, X coordinates and Y coordinates are from the mesh grid, so they're ready to plot. Two is the size. This would be the size in the scatter plot. You can say one, two, three, or whatever it is. So we just took size two, and rep map is re replicate the matrix. So I am one gray is that fifty thousand three hundred twenty-five it is, and we're going to replicate it three times. So one row, three columns. So it's the same thing divided. Sorry, it's the same thing replicated three times. Now, there's a cast operator here, the double. Remember, the image would be a u int 8. And if a u int 8 divided by 255, that will always give you 0. But what we want the decimal of it because we want to plot it. So what we have to do is we have to convert it to a double. 
and then divide by 255 and that will give the grayscale intensity. So that, that line is difficult. And I've heavily commented above and I've also given a verbal explanation as to well, what's going on. So just go down here. View is the camera line of sight. And we put the grid on there. Then we look at using X labor and Y labels, and we're looking at the IJ axis, so that's the XY axis. So there's the original uh, image in grayscale, just plotted in a three dimensional box or plane, whatever you want to look at it. So there's the non homogeneous format for rotating X, Y, and Z. Now there is an inbuilt MATLAB command, rot X, rot Y, and rot Z, but you'll see down here in a second, uh, manually created. So, and cos D is for the cos using, cos using degrees. If you have out the D, it would be. Uh, we assume the 60 is a radiance. So I, this is in quotes because I took it directly from that. Just go back to here. Took it, I lifted that quote directly from here from Stack Overflow. Just went to it. Okay, so. We have P there, P out is R by P, R is the uh, rotation matrix, and P is a three by one vector of the points X, Y, Z. But remember you have N points, so you want to have a three by N matrix. So there's the rotation matrix. That line there. And then, so rotation of X, but the, remember the three by N. So X coordinates transposed, Y coordinates transposed, because remember they were columns, so we have to transpose them. And then you put in a, a, a rake of zero. So the number of elements of X coordinate and the number of elements of X coordinate was 50,325. So you would end up P out then, will, when you do the multiplication, will end up as a 3 by 50,325. And that there is the byte size, and they're all doubles. We're then going to use the scatter 3D or the scatter tree plot. So X, Y, Z, S is the size, and C is the color. And the color will be the intensity of the grayscale images. So X is P out one colon, row one, all the columns. Y is row two, all the columns. Z is row three, all the columns. Two is the size of each plot or each point. And then the same rep mat as we did above using the double cast operator and the 255. Specify the axis, specify the viewing angle. And we get that. So that's 60 degrees about the X. I'm going to same thing as before, except this time you set up the uh, rotation of the Y axis using the formula that we took from Wikipedia. This line here. Same as above, do the multiplication and then do the scatter plot there. Set the axis, set the X label, set the Y label, set the viewing angle, and there we are. And there's rotation about the Y. The Z is rotating a table mat on the table and we set up RZ using the format that I showed above from Wikipedia. We calculate the rotation matrix by the 
the 3 by n. And then we did a scatter plot again. Set the axis. Set the labels. And do the plot. OK, so hope that helps a little. Thanks for.